Ayahuasca's reputation is that you're going to have to confront your deepest, darkest demons. But how do you emotionally prepare for that? What can you expect? What is the benefit of that experience? And how can you maybe even avoid this experience if you are not ready for it? And all of this you will find in this video. The first thing to notice is that this experience is actually not as common as you might think. And it's more of the reputation of Ayahuasca Online because obviously the sensational videos are the ones that go more viral. The ones where you say like, hey, I felt a lot of love for myself and for others, it just gets 200 views. It's the nature of the internet. But in the end, the healing, I like to say it many times, always comes to the love, the light, the compassion, the understanding, and it's also the path of ayahuasca. And the shame and the guilt in us makes us think that we need to get that kick in the back to finally get our life moving. But what we need so much more is that big hug from ayahuasca. So just know that those are not really common experiences. Uh, they can happen. Um, and a way to avoid it is to ask the ayahuasca to be gentle with you. It's not a surefire way. Sometimes you need to go through that experience, but if you ask the ayahuasca to be gentle to you, there is a likelihood that it will. Also, I want to be clear about one thing and that we're not actually talking about uh, real demons. There is a quote where it says, people swear they're fighting demons and in reality they are facing the consequences of their own actions. And I want to talk about a personal experience. Actually, quite recently I had a ayahuasca ceremony where I got a little bit of a, a smack from ayahuasca and it showed me mm, something that I wasn't doing well, something that I was holding on to, also where it would leave me if I would keep on going with uh, that path, with those decisions and it like it shook me. And uh, But it was really beneficial for me in that sense because I needed to be confronted with that harsh truth in a way. And uh, after that, I obviously had to process it, but then I uh, made some decisions in my life and it um, started a really good chain reaction as well. And uh, it's about, you know, sometimes we prefer comforting illusions over the hard truth. And in that sense, it's really good that ayahuasca shows us the hard truths in some ways because uh, that allows, even though it hurts to see the truth, the mistakes that we're making, the pain that it's causing to others and to ourselves, but that truth allows us to build on reality. It allows us to um, change certain things in our life, just like I was able to from that experience. And for me, that experience was maybe about five to 15 minutes in the ceremony. It's a bit difficult to uh, say what time it is in the ceremony um, because I feel like I got the message after that period of time. Uh, a friend of mine talked about his situation, how he just got like a really long time of like being confronted with something and then he's like says to Ayahuasca, okay, I got it, I'm going to change and I was like, no, you haven't gotten it yet and it just like he kept on pushing into the pain point. So also sometimes when people ask about, uh, you know, how long is this going to take when they're in those difficult moments in the ceremony, sometimes I like to say it's like, as long as you're, as long as it takes for you to learn the lesson, because as much as you're like resisting it and don't want to see, see it, the more it has to come up for you to realize it. So in that sense, uh, be open to what ayahuasca wants to show you. And that way it's also going to be more gentle on you. And everybody's deepest fear, everybody's demon is different. For some, might, it might be to lose control. And then you might lose control in an ayahuasca ceremony. And it doesn't even need to be as dramatic. It could be that you are not able to move for 30 minutes. And uh, it might be exactly the thing that you wish to not happen and it's like, oh, and then it, it comes up. But those experiences in that sense can help us remind ourselves that we cannot control everything in life, that uh, can learn us to surrender. It can uh, teach us to that even though we don't have control, we are still well taken care of. So there's a lot of benefits from 
those types of experiences. So that can be on the more lighter end of those difficult um, experiences, but it can, in very few cases, also be more extreme. And I'm saying like very few, where you know people could like start hitting their head against the um, against the ground. Sometimes uh, they start start to like scratch themselves um, and move uncontrollably. And in those cases, um, we even have to like tie people up in a sense that they are not hurting themselves. And it might sound um, as an extreme example, but sometimes that's what's um, necessary to contain the people from themselves. And uh, again, it's something that usually happens more in those public ceremonies with uh, 50 plus people where just generally the energy is higher. And uh, obviously one can be left with a lot of confusion after an experience like that, maybe even uh, nightmares, the, the days after uh, the ceremony, even feel like that one is still in ceremony. You know, you're not going cra crazy. It's just like the, your subconscious still developing. So there are many aspects uh, to it. Also, you know, the we come to ayahuasca because we want a certain level of change in our life and our current paradigm, our current thoughts, our beliefs levels have created the reality that each of us live in with its benefits, but also its sufferings. And in a way we want a certain level of change. And sometimes it just needs some slight adjustment for us to improve our life. But sometimes our foundation is so rotten, is so wrong that Daiwaska needs to wipe out our foundation for something new to start to grow. And that can happen in a more harmonious ways, sometimes in a more stronger way. And uh, either way, it's really beneficial for us and uh, it helps us on our path. And many times life doesn't make sense at all until it makes sense you know like things happen you think oh why does this happen to me and then all that kind of stuff and then three years later you're able to look back on what happened at that time and say like oh it's actually the best way that it happened uh, back then so in a way life is a uh, is one big mystery in a way ayahuasca is one one big mystery but sometimes one needs to have those strong resets as well again it's normal to be confused after those experiences but know that it's for your best in a way what i can recommend is to be open to what ayahuasca wants to show you in the way that it's showing you and in the intensity that it's showing you as well and for some people it's a lot softer experience and they wish like, oh i wish i would have like a really strong experience to get that epiphany and sometimes people have like a very strong experience they say like oh I wish this lesson could have come in an easier way. And uh, again, recommendation, be open to what Ayahuasca wants to show you and the level of intensity that it's coming to you. And in the indigenous worldview, whatever has been there for a longer time has more uh, wisdom. If you look at nature, everything is perfect. Nothing is, in, is rushed. Everything is in synchrony everything gets done and then you look at uh, humans and uh, there's so much confusion, so much pollution, so much uh, anger, hurt, so many of, um, yeah, there's that disharmony. And by being able to connect with a plant, with a spirit that has been here for longer than us, it can teach us. Uh, everything from the indigenous in a way is very effective, also a bit crazy at times. And remember, these are more extreme examples that are not common they can happen and know that it's a medicine and even those very difficult experiences can be a very um, can be a catalyst for a change in your life referring to my recent experience where i was really shook by that but it allowed me to make some changes and even within a short period of time i noticed a lot of positive changes so trust in the ayahuasca if you're looking for a safe place to experience ayahuasca as well, you're more than welcome to come here to Colombia. 
uh, to join a retreat, either four days, seven days. If you like this type of content, um, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, maybe comment your experience that you've had with ayahuasca or some questions. And uh, thank you very much for your time. And I'll see you in the next video.